Saki Halevi? Are you a Levi? I'm a true Levi. It's Halevi. Are you Yemenite? No. Uh, my father is H generation born in Israel, and my mother is Moroccan. We go back, it's Morocco, uh, Iran, and Egypt. That's a quite, it's quite a mixture. All countries we had to flee. Exactly. <laughs> thank God for the Jewish state. Thank God. Thank God for Israel. What's your role in this production? Uh, I'm portraying the role of uh, Leon Hariri, who is uh, the head of a criminal family. He believes that uh, the Mossad is in charge of uh, killing his father. So he goes on a, a personal vendicta, a manhunt to Vendetta, to, uh, to catch the, the guy who's in charge of the Mossad. And as he goes, as the plot revol um, you know, the evolves, uh, he realizes, uh, he discovers a lot of secrets, whether it's about his family or about um, you know, the Mossad, and it's uh, quite interesting, an interesting plot. Uh -huh. You play a villain. I do play a villain, yes. You play an Arab? No, no, an Israeli villain. We do have villains also. Arab villains? No, Israeli villains, we do oh, have oh, them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've had contracts with them, but how about, uh, 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 are Arab villains portrayed in the series? Uh, some, yeah, we have some uh, people from ISIS, characters from ISIS. Uh -huh. um, that's about it. Uh, is, do you have any concern that uh, promoting the idea of Mossad outside of Israel might feed more conspiracies or conspiracist notions that if something like in the Arab country says, oh, uh, uh, a, a chief from Hezbollah got assassinated, must be Mossad, but not necessarily is. It never necessarily is, uh, first of all. But I think, you know, all these uh, Mossad, Shin Bet, uh, CIA, FBI, it's something that always intrigues, you know, the audience, whether they're Jewish or non Jewish right. around the world. So I guess, you know, when you get a glimpse of how these agencies work, yeah. it's interesting. And this is what I think, you know, the audience is, uh, you know, this is what appeals them, and this is what they you know, are, are interested in seeing this little glimpse of how things work. And although, you know, it's a mixture of what is authentic and what it needs to be dramatized in order to make it interesting and, uh, and you know, uh, to make it uh, a TV show. So in Israel, people accept, in the same way we'd see a show uh, that says CIA or KGB outside, in Israel people are accustomed to it, but what about, it now, it's now being shown in other countries? It is shown in other countries. I know. I think you know. Thanks to a lot of platforms that bring these, we talk about uh, the Mossad 101, an Israeli creation. That you know, through these platforms, they get to people all around the world. So it's uh, and you know, it's it's quite exciting for those people to uh, to see it and you know to they, it attracts them. Where else will it be outside of Israel? Oh, you know, if it's on Netflix, it uh, can reach, uh, I think, 190 countries. Uh, we already, for the first season of the Mossad, I received a lot of feedbacks from different countries around the world. Really? So, yes. Uh, hate mail? Hate letters? Hate letters? Hate? Or death threats? Oh, no, 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 no death. No, no death threats at all. Uh, mostly, uh, praise? mostly praise, yes. What kind of things are people saying? Uh, that they enjoy the show, that they enjoy the, the plot, the storyline, the actors, uh, having again, like I said, glimpse of you know how things work. Uh, they're always intrigued whether to know what is authentic and what, what is not, but we leave it you know, for their imagination. So, uh. How do people from the Mossad react? Have you heard any criticism uh, that, that they're, uh, anyone involved is concerned? I personally I haven't heard uh, you know, feedbacks from Mossad people. Are you getting more dates? <laughs> I won't tell you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.